You know, you think of all the great teams of the past decade and the great quarterbacks, there's always a common factor going on here. It's Brady in the sixth round, or it's Breeze coming off that injury going to New Orleans, or it's Aaron Rodgers falling in your lap, or Brett Favre falling in your lap, right? Or it's Dak Prescott or Russell Wilson falling in your lap. Think about some of these top <laughs> these quarterbacks picked real high in the draft. Other than Goff and Wentz, because they, they traded up to get both of them, but Winston and Mariota? They haven't been shit. As good as good as Andrew Luck was, because this is the only situation I could think of where a team wanted to get the first overall pick. As good as Andrew Luck was, he didn't win shit. He went to one championship game, and he got fucking blown out because his team was horrible. Look, look at all these situations I just gave you, right? What happened to the Miami Dolphins on draft day? Josh Rosen was given to us like a gift from God. We traded our second-round pick for a second-round pick and Josh Rosen. That's what we did, right? We traded down, got the Saints pick <laughs> the next year, and traded that for Josh Rosen. And what do we do with it? We trade away his left tackle, trade away his best weapon, and then bring. <laughs> we brought in Brian Flores before that. What do we do with him? Trade away his two best pass rushers and his his superstar young DB. Like, what the fuck are we doing? When you are, when you are given this gift of Josh Rosen, you don't tank. Why the fuck are we assuming we're going to get Tua? Why would Tua even want to go to Miami with what has gone on these past few months? Why would anyone want to come here? We got all this money. Oh, yeah, we could, you know, we've got over $100 million in cap space, and we got all these picks and everything, but who the fuck would want to play for the Miami Dolphins right now? When we are trying to lose. And it's obvious. And it's not Brian Flores' fault. What the fuck is he going to do? Why would you bring in a new coach and a new quarterback and act- actively try to lose? You, we have given Brian Flores no chance. And I like, I like Brian Flores. Personally, I like him. But what are we doing? We... We did so many things right in the offseason, bringing in a new coaching staff, bringing in Jim Caldwell to work with Josh Rosen. He's the quarterback coach, so he's not even doing shit other than helping Josh Rosen. There are so many things we could have done differently in these past few months, like keep Quinn and Wake, like not trade a franchise left tackle, Who's going to help our future quarterback? Even if it was Tua? Why the fuck would you do that? It makes no sense. We won seven games last year. You're telling me if Josh Rosen ends up being a good quarterback. Not even a great one. A good one. We're pl- Are you fucking kidding me? You give Josh Rosen the roster we had last year. And he's a year better. We win ten games. We win ten games. We won seven with Tannehill and Brock Osweiler. You're telling me a second-year Josh Rosen isn't going to win ten games with that team. What are we doing? Tanking does not work. No one's going to want to come here unless we overpay like a motherfucker. And we're going to have to hit on all these draft picks, which, by the way, we already did with the players we traded for these picks. Right? We hit on Laramie Tunsil. What do we do? We trade him away. We hit on Minka. What do we do? Trade him away. So, what the fuck are we doing? Is what I'm asking. When you're given a gift, like Tom Brady in the sixth round, Aaron Rodgers in the, <coughs> in the bottom third of the draft, Brett Favre, you don't just tank and not give him at least a fucking chance. Right? You know, I don't even want to. Uh, what I'm hoping happens is Josh Rosen comes in, plays really well for f- the rest of the year, and we just roll with him. 
No Tua. We just build around him. 